What up? It's your boy NWP, and today I got a topic that I don't think anybody really has talked about, and that's, are old maps better than new maps? Or am I just imagining things? But before we do that, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, take the time right now to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell next to it so that you can get alerted anytime that I drop a new video. If you like this video at any time, hit the thumbs up. And if you have any comments, suggestions, or feedback, drop them in the box below. Additionally, check the link in the description so you can enter the giveaway if you want to win 50 bucks in your favorite gaming currency, Steam, PlayStation, Xbox, you know, get some COD points, get some V-Bucks. It's up to you, really, but you don't have to if you don't want to. So, but that's, you know, like the whole intro spiel that I'm going to go with. But, like, let's go with into the topic right away here. And, like... Black Ops 4 has kind of brought a resurgence of a lot of older maps. More so than any other game, really, that's ever come out in terms of shooter games, um, except for one. And, and that will be the Halo Online. Um, like, that had every old map, and, it was, and it's probably one of the most popular games in reality, but it was kind of shut down, blah, blah, blah. Anyways... My my question here is, are these older maps better? And and not because they're older, necessarily, but are they just better designed and, like, the philosophy that was used back then more enjoyable than what they go by today? And me, personally, after thinking about it for a little while and actually putting some real thought into it, it's been, like, a lot of the design changes that they've made to maps are really in movement and not so much in, you know, necessarily layout or debris or texture, you know, just the, the, the general, you know, uh, you know, just, you know, style, we'll say the style in terms of like the way it looks, you know, like the graffiti on the wall kind of thing really has not changed. It's only been improved with, you know, in, you know, the resolutions going up and, you know, the technology is being improved, obviously. But generally speaking, they've changed a lot in terms of the actual tactical layout and like, you know, the maze, if you will, of the map. <clears throat> and when I when I really think about the way that it changed and when it started to change, it started to change after Black Ops 2 when Twitch and YouTube really started to take off in terms of uh, popularity for viewership. And you started to realize that, like, you know, they, they almost tried to go with, like, a three-lane and then a five-lane kind of setup on maps rather than just going with... A map and like in some cases you know there was really cool symmetrical maps that were completely symmetrical on both sides you know and then there's completely asymmetric maps that, that were really cool and then there's maps like this where it's a little bit of both it's like uh, there is some symmetry to it but there's some asymmetry to it as well which gives you a power side as well as like you know a kind of a weaker side but at the same time, there's a central location that's very much identical on either side. Like, when you go into the middle of slums, uh, where the fountain is, it is pretty much as symmetric as you can possibly get. There's, the you know, everything is identical on either side, pretty much. So there is no variation to either, you know, given side of the map right there. It all plays out exactly the same, which is... Um, a unique flavor to Call of Duty itself compared to other video games like, say, Halo, where the you know, complete arena with 100% symmetry could be made. Um, and, and then they, they do have completely asymmetric maps as well in Halo, but you see a lot more of this, like, have some a symmetric area and then a complete asymmetric map built inside of Call of Duty. And nowadays, you really don't see that as much. What you see is them trying to make a symmetric arena map for esports, com you know, competitive play, if you will. And that doesn't necessarily come to be a great design for you know everyone to play. Not everyone wants to play that. In some cases, people want to play something that you know visibly and tactically reminds them of, say, Battlefield 
or even Gears of War, but they really like the way the gameplay feels in Call of Duty, where it's like that semi-arcade snap kill kind of, uh, it's not quite as fast as like Quake or Doom, you know, like kind of snap Twitch play, but it has that, you know, very fast gameplay compared to say Battlefield, where you're you know, much slower aiming, you know, headshots are a lot more effective. Other CODs headshots have been a lot more effective. They're kind of butthole in this, you know, it's kind of weird. After having so many CODs where we, you know, had like bonuses for headshots, and then to have this, you know, it's just completely weird, you know, where the body shots or whatever. I still think SMGs are kind of weak. I mean, they could probably be buffed a little bit, but I definitely think that old maps are way more popular we you know nuketown was just off the hook for the weekend we had it like as a playlist by itself firing range is awesome slums is awesome <clears throat> you know um summit is awesome so if they were to bring back more old maps i, I think it would win i don't think necessarily bringing back old maps that people didn't like back in the day would be any fun but bringing back old maps would definitely be awesome. And, uh, you know, bringing back the ones that are more popular would be really, really cool. Now, looking at the way this game is already playing out, we got Black Ops 1, we got Black Ops 2, like, you know, so let's get some Black Ops 3 in here. Let's get it, like, you know, situated and going. Let's, you know, see, come on now, bring back some Infinity Ward maps from, like, Modern Warfare and stuff. And give us the hookup, dude. Like, you guys could do so much with this game. But that about does it for me, guys. Tell me what you think in the, in the uh, comment section below. And uh, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. And as always, have a good one. <laughs>